Hello! In this video, we'll take a look at the features available in the Excel report, downloads and resource guru, including some handy tips on how to use pivot tables. To prepare and download a report, head over to the report section. Here, you can set the date range that you'd like to include in the report, along with any filtering you'd like to apply to the data set to limit the scope of the report. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll select a custom range of dates with no applied filters. I can now click the download button which starts the generation process. Once that's done, Resource Guru sends me an email with a download link. After downloading and extracting the zip file, you will see that it contains an XLSX report accompanied by three CSV files with raw data for bookings, availability and downtime. You can open the report with Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets or LibreOffice, but I'll be using Excel to demonstrate how you can use the reports for custom analysis. When you first open the Excel spreadsheet, you'll see the introduction screen with some useful instructions and links to help you get most out of the reports. If you're using Excel, you may see that the workbook opens in protected view. Click the Enable Editing button to enable the features required for the tables to work. The next sheet contains a table of contents with links directly to the content you're looking for. You can also scroll through the worksheets at the bottom. Let's take a look at the resources scheduled pivot table which is derived from raw data included in this workbook. Pivot tables are a little different to normal spreadsheet tables, but you can also copy and paste them into other worksheets if you prefer to work on regular tables. In this particular table, we're looking at a daily total scheduled time for each resource, which is then broken further down into billable and non-billable book time. In the table header, you can see that dates and columns are grouped by month and year along with a button that allows us to collapse each level. If we would like to roll up a total of scheduled time for a given month, we can click the minus sign next to the month to collapse that column group and generate sums for the resources. Clicking that button again expands that group. We can also do the same with row groups. If we just want to see a sum for a particular row, we can click the minus sign to collapse the row. Clicking again will expand it back to its original form. When a pivot table is selected, Excel shows a pivot table fields pane that lets you control the structure of the pivot table. The first box represents the list of fields available from the raw data that this pivot table operates on. On the bottom, we have four boxes that represent the structure of our pivot table. In the top left, we have the filters box which contains the fields by which we want to filter values by. The table we're looking at provides a confirmed field that we can filter by, which is shown above the headers of the pivot table on the left. For this table, we only show the bookings with a confirmed value. Depending on the type of field, this list might show more values and we can tick the box to enable filtering by multiple values. Top right, we have the columns box that controls which values are listed horizontally in the table. You'll notice that this table uses three fields, year, month name and date. These correspond to the column groups available in the horizontal header in the table and allows you to group the days first into months. A top-down hierarchy, if you will. The bottom left contains the rows box, which lists the row values that we would like listed vertically in the table. Here, we want to show resources whose bookings are broken down additionally into billable and non-billable bookings. Switching the order of these fields would first group all the bookings into either billable or non-billable bookings, then provide a breakdown by resource. And finally, the bottom right box contains the actual field we'd like to show in the table body. Let's take a look at how this field is set up. In the details dialog, we can see that the source name is ours. We've provided a custom name to display in the table header for clarity. You'll notice that the summary calculation is set to SUM, which tells Excel how to combine the data when summarizing. When we're dealing with reports that span months, quarters, or even years of data, it can get tedious to manually collapse data individually. In this case, we can simply drag the date field out of the columns box in the fields list. Notice that the cursor changes to a crossed out symbol, meaning that this will remove the field from the box. Letting go of the mouse button rebuilds the table with hours rolled up into months by default. For the purpose of reporting on time scheduled, regardless of its billable or non-billable status, we can also remove the billable field from the rows box by dragging it back into the fields list. When the table refreshes, we're left with a monthly summary of book time per resource. Notice that the resources are sorted by name in this table, but there's no way for us to tell at a glance whether a particular resource is a person, vehicle, or some other type of resource. Let's group the resources into types by dragging the resource type field above the resources field in the rows box. There. Much better. 
We can get a bit more mileage from this report though. Suppose we were trying to see how our business performs on a weekly basis. Let's drag the week number field into the columns box. You can see that there's a problem with the report. Weeks often roll into the next month and year, which causes the weeks to be split between two months. To fix this, let's remove the year and month name fields from the columns box by dragging them back to the fields list. Having done that, our table now contains resources grouped by type with weekly summaries. We can now select and copy this table to a Word document, a slide deck or another worksheet to crunch more numbers. Pivot tables offer much more than what we've shown so far, so you might want to take a look at some of the articles and videos we link to from our Help Center article to get the most of them. We hope you'll enjoy the flexibility and convenience of our reporting solution, as we've enjoyed making it for you.